No, now I can't hear anything because it's a uh, can noise castling. <laughs> okay, let me plug it in. Okay, do you how do, do I sound better now? Yeah, yeah, yeah now it sounds a million times. Wait, I can't hear you. How come I don't hear you? This clip is on me right here, and then we can do our do our interview. Nice. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, this is only gonna be like seven to twelve minutes long, whatever you like. All right, sounds uh, good. Just like your story and what you do. Mm -hmm. On your road to dot com success, I like to remind you to basically take time and enjoy the journey. Because when you finally get to the end, you're gonna find that it was the journey that was really the fun, ex fun experience along the way. So take time to smell the roses and enjoy this. Nice. I really love that. So thanks for taking your time, and we're all gonna check out your blog at johnchow.com. All right, Zach. Thank you very much. Thanks. That was great. All right. That was good. Yep, I'm gonna upload it to the course, and this is actually going out to like two million people over the weekend or whatever. It'll be on uh, Udemy, so a lot of people will be seeing. Oh, awesome! So Udemy course too, great. Yeah. All right. So everything else good? Oh, everything else great. Yeah, like. Uh, you know, you know, world traveling lately? Um, actually, uh, I'll be. Le I'm going to Puerto Vallarta on the 17th, and then uh, that's for five days. Then I'll be back in Orange County for three days, and off to Costa Rica. Oh, but I got no traveling in, in April, so I'm actually free in April, and that's oh, something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get a, a break in April. Relax from vacation. <laughs> that's right, application for the vacation. Yeah. And then I got to put the uh, thing out for me, you, Shu, and Sai to speak at Affiliate Summit when it's back mm. in New York City. So. That's right, I need to submit that. Uh, yeah. I have registered, I already booked the hotel, I booked my right. flight, and uh, I already got the media pass, so it's just a matter of you getting us a speaker pass. Yeah. All right, cool, yeah, I'll get in touch with them and make sure we're all set up. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks a lot, John. Oh, Zach. Yeah, Let's go check out Cars and Coffee. Taking a dump already? Oh my god, Widget, you're so fast. Look, here it comes, here it comes, coming up. Daddy, you, no! <laughs> oh, there it is, oh! Oh, come on, Widget, push, push, push. Oh, there it is. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. Hey, welcome to another episode of Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. Yeah, I guess it's been a few days since I've done one. We are here at the San Clemente uh, outlet, charging up the Tesla, walking widget, and we're gonna go check out Cars and Coffee. Come on, let's go. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, this is what happens when you come to Cars and Coffee's late. It is like, uh, yeah, almost, wow. It's only like, 40 minutes left for cars and coffee. Most of the cars already left. That uh, Volkswagen Bug looks tilted. It looks tilted. Oh, well, how it, the exhaust pipe? Why is the exhaust pipe? The exhaust is yeah. The exhaust is kind of weird, eh? But at least they got a muffler on it. Actually, here's a an old vintage Austin. Oh, always get some doggy love here at cars and coffee. <laughs> I feel I missed something really special. Judging by those cones, those were reserved area, obviously for some special pre-assigned car that was gonna be here today. But uh, those cars are gone. So I don't know what I missed. I guess I, what? That is, that there, Sally, is a Frisker. Oh, it's a comma. That looks like a whale with a mustache. Looks like a whale with a mustache? In a way, I suppose, yes. Yeah, but it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a hybrid. <laughs> oh wow, he's very jumpy. He is. Yeah, yeah, jumpy. Hey, look, Sally. <laughs> There's a dog wearing the cone of shame. <laughs> Checking out the McLaren. So this is the uh, McLaren 570. Is it a GT? Let's see what it is. Oh, is it a regular McLaren? Oh yeah, it's the it's a regular McLaren S, not the GT. But this is the uh, the baby McLaren. It's uh, McLaren's starter supercar, so to speak. The 570S, the 570 stands for horsepower. The S stands for 
I don't know, sports. But it's kind of cool. Uh, McLaren orange paint job, carbon fiber mirrors, nice uh, orange seat belts, matching seats. Really, really nice. And believe it or not, I actually fit this car. Oh, this is a convertible too, by the way. It's a hot top convertible. So, two pieces, piece here, piece here. You all would track into here to become a convertible. Hi, Sally. Is that crazy wrap again? Oh, that, yeah, that crazy paint job Mustang with the multicolor. Porsche 911 Turbo with beautiful uh, HRE wheels. Wow, HRE. HRE modeling. Yeah. And we just walk across it. And oh, of course, there's the uh, McLaren's about to leave now with the nice, uh, I, don't know they, I don't know what kind of doors they call them. They, the scissor door. Scissors door, the butterfly door. No, the butterfly doors are like the Tesla's. Oh yeah, butterfly doors are like a butterfly. No, our Tesla has a uh, Falcon doors. No, fine Falcon, whatever. Yeah. Let's go. I right. want. And then Pencil. this Cromwell is always in his back in his usual spot now. He is the uh, I guess the guy who runs cars and coffee. Ah, look at that. It's a, a supercharged motor. Nice, nice, Sally. How you doing, Sally? Sally, watch out! Don't let the dog get in the way. Alright, back to this motor. Yes. Really nicely done. That's a Whipple supercharger. Whipple. 2.7 liter supercharger. I'm sure it adds a couple hundred horsepower to this motor. And I'm also sure it reduces the lifespan by maybe 50,000 miles. This, it looks like that car from Cars. Oh, yeah, it is the car from Cars. The movie, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> we still got 40 minutes to leave before a car's fully charged. Wanna get a pet still? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, so wait, wait, before you go. Before you go, check this out, Sally. Look at this Woody. It's a slam Woody. Oh, that is cool. I mean, real wood, real vinyl, <laughs> and more wood in the inside. Look, oh, check that out. That is beautiful. All right, it, it, it's like it's made out of wood, literally. It's made out of wood. Inside wood. In a tree. I was look, wood inside, wood inside, wood outside. You're sitting in a tree. Yeah. And look, Sally, you know, no windshield wiper. So. Wait, is this a slam? Yeah, it's a slam. And look, Sally, no windshield wipers. So if it rains, you're, you're kind of hoop, aren't you? Okay, the Supra Club is leaving. This Supra is fast and a little too furious. Lost his nose. That's what it looks, should look like. And after you hear all that noise of those angry cars, what do we have here? Silence. <laughs> it's free pretzel day? Yes. All right, awesome. Simon or regular? So which one do you want? So that was awesome. Here I had a coupon for free pretzel, but it turns out it's free pretzel day, so I didn't have to use my coupon. And better yet, after they gave us a free pretzel, they gave it, they gave me another coupon for they gave me another coupon for another free pretzel for next time. How did they make any money? Good, is that it? Free pretzel, yum yum. Come on, widget, get in the elevator there. Get on there. Oh no, he's gone. Come on, make him, make him go, Sally. Come on, make him, Sally, make him go. Make him. No, <laughs> baby, feel that chicken dog. Gonna go down the stairs instead. We're gonna call you Chicken Dog from now on. Widget the Chicken Dog. We need to bring our hoverboard here. It's like just, this would be cool, just racing around this parking lot. I should have, we should get all of my friends hoverboards, so have like, and we'll bring Nerf guns. Hoverboard contests, and we'll Nerf, 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 Nerf guns. Yeah, with oh, Nerf guns. the Hunger Games on hoverboards? Yeah, that's it. You're all invited to the hoverboard contest with Nerf Gun San Clemente Outlet parking lot. The Hover Games. Or the Nerf Games. I don't know, we'll figure a good name for it. All Model S's and our section, All Model X's. And then that <laughs> section is a two. Yeah, a two so runner. your Model S, go there. Your Model X, go here. Unplug. Put it back. Close. Thank you. Oh, 
all I gotta do to close the door is put the foot on the brake and the door closed. Magic. Magic, exactly. So I'm at a, uh, I'm at this place called the Fisherman's Restaurant and Bar here in San Clemente Pier. It's a beautiful oceanfront restaurant. We're right now sitting right in the patio with a great view of the ocean. Here for lunch. Uh, my wife's been here before. She wants to try it again. She says uh, they got great oysters and other stuff. So obviously I'm going to try the oysters. Duh. The menu here. They have pokey, scratch that idea, but what I'm looking at, uh, the bucket of mussel, the bucket of clam, they look good, and of course the oyster and the half shell. But what I'm most interested in is uh, this sandwich here. I noticed they have a calamari sandwich for $14. Now I'm gonna compare this to the Rob Feeney calamari sandwich at Feeney's when I had in Vancouver. By far the best calamari sandwich in the world. So we'll see how this one compares. Uh, I just noticed that they have a restaurant in San Seattle and a restaurant in San Clemente. When you really think about it, that's like, when you think of a little spread out to have two restaurants, generally when you start a restaurant, you start, start another one, you start it, you know, nearby within the same city or maybe the next city. But <laughs> going from San Clemente all the way to Seattle, Washington, uh, that's like a thousand miles apart. Okay, so this is the color of my sandwich. I got a crab cake. Wasn't really what I was expecting, but hey, I'll try it. Uh, crab cake, yeah, just put it, put, put down, find a spot. <laughs> wow, too much. Yeah, yeah for probably me. Oh, there's the oyster. Nice. Dozen oyster right there. Uh, New England clam chowder, crab cake, bucket of clams, calamari sandwich, uh, extra uh, sourdough bread. And it looks like we also got some popcorn shrimp as well. So, yay. Um, yeah, as you can see, I, I, I eat well. These pigeons are super brave. They just come right up to you and take it right off your hand. Come on. Oh, of course, once I get the camera, you don't come. We'll try this one more time. Here you go. There you go, pigeon. Come on. There you go. That's it. That was a brave one. The other one was chicken. Okay, so that was the... Uh, Fisherman's Restaurant and Bar in San Clemente Pier. It was uh, overall quite good. Lunch for lunch for four came to $165, so uh, not too bad. There, there wasn't any standout dishes. As for that calamari sandwich, how does it compare to the uh, one made by Rob Feeney? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't like. Uh, yeah, the, the the one that made from from Chef Feeney was by far the best calamari sandwich I ever had. This one, on a scale of one to 10, where you have Feeney's one as a 10, uh, this one would be a five. But overall, um, not a bad lunch. Um, I liked it. <laughs>